I'm gonna this video and I'm so excited like if I could I would literally just do it like that even yeah. Um if that I would be doing that the entire video but I'm so excited. So I don't think it's that's, oh my god, you're vicious. She's been a little naughty girl lately, and I don't know why. Okay, but let's just start with the doors. The doors open and close, and, and uh, they open and close, and they are attached and stuff with binder clips. Find the clips. Oh no, I can't get this one. Back. There we go. Um, there's only two places where there is the huge hold ones, and that's on the top level of the doors. So this store and this door have them up here, not down at the bottom, but they're overlapped just in case. And so yeah, let's walk in here. And both doors work. One door just opens inward right now, which sucks. But yeah, you get what you get. Um, and there's a level, and it's one, two, three, to one by three. Sorry, my shadow's like blocking everything. I think this is like the worst possible place. And there's uh, zip ties everywhere because I have to like, cut and snip them and replace it and everything. But yeah. Um. There's a way for the ferret to get hurt. Yes. There's a way for the ferret, because yes, I'm getting a ferret. This is just spoiled. But yeah, I'm getting a ferret, hopefully. Not 100% sure. The family has not completely agreed to it, but I'm hoping that it's okay. So it's just like crossing the fingers right now. Um, but I broke the cage, so I'm just going to pray and hope. <laughs> Okay, well, it can jump from the floor up to this, and it's only about four inches, or possibly six inches off of the ground, which really isn't that much. And then there's like a five inch gap or so there, and then it just jumps onto this, and then there's another six inch gap between these. Um, so it just goes boing. And, and and it can come up here and roam up here. There's probably just going to be like some sleepy stuff um, up here. The hammocks will be downstairs though, that's all I know. Um, sorry, I'm talking kind of be like really quiet right now. But yeah, um, I'm going to exit. The food, I haven't found out. Food in the water, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm probably going to put it on the door. Like one of the doors, like the door that I don't use as much to be this one, so I'm probably going to attach it to like the bottom of this door or something. Or, yeah, because then it would just be easy because I can just dump the water and everything in really quick. Which would save me a lot of time. So I'm probably going to attach it to one of the doors and, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a huge cage and this is going to be a top. Don't worry, there will be a top. I'm just going to on that. Um, the bottom, I think I'm going to put core class down. So the bottom because I have a 2 by 5 already made right now that I have to make anything so I can just chop it down and I'm probably going to use that to pop, I might not use it for the bottom I'm probably only going to use it for the levels and stuff and the bottom I'm thinking of putting like painters plastic type stuff down which would be roaming around on it there would be leaf or something down on it um, so that you know doesn't eat it That'll be down. It's just like a plastic tarp that is clear. So when people paint walls and shenanigans. Yeah. And court cloth up here. And then the top, I'm going to try and make a wire mesh top. Because we have a wire mesh. And all it's going to do is probably come down to about this, this grid here. And just kind of come down and just cover it. And cover one of the things all the way around. Um. So yeah, and then I'd have to, like, I'm going to probably cut it in half and have it, like, attached so that it's, I can lift one side up or I can take it all off. Um, or I'll just make it so I can take it all off. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do, but I'll have my father help me. So if I can, get a ferret. So we have to this little booger in here, guys, which you can't see her because it's so dark back there. But yeah, we're going to find out when everything's going to happen and 
yeah, and then I'll get back to you. So thanks for watching, and if you can put like your vet bills every year that you pay, like the vaccines and the um, checkups and stuff, if you could put those down below and let me know how much you spend on that. Nothing else, like not like if your ferret got like really sick and you had to take it in. Don't write that down. Just put like average on what you normally pay. In between, you know, like 100 and 200, for example, you probably don't spend that much. But yeah, just let me know down below because that would really help. So thanks, and this is my page. Thanks for watching. Bye.